Hi all, in this video I am going to discuss about Oracle Database Startup Sequence and this will be this video will be the second uh, database training video and this video especially it will be very important for uh, people those who wants to build their career as a Oracle Database Administrator for them this particular topic is really very important because this topic will give you actual understanding that how the data base work and what are the stages are there for database to function so obviously for understanding this uh, particular uh, topic like how the database start and how is get uh, stopped so in a startup and in shutdown mood there are multiple stages that we will be discussing why which stage uh, uh, do what and why uh, the uh, that sets are important for what purposes so we'll be covering everything in that so uh, as you can see a startup is a uh, command basically it's uh, responsible for making a database start so in that when the database get started it goes with three different stages the first is, is stage is no mount and then uh, once the no mount uh, when the database is shut down from there uh, first it will go to when you fire the command startup it will go to no mount means it will in, uh, in that uh, stage your instance will get started and then it will go to mount mode where the database will get mounted and then it will open the database for every uh, every user who wants to connect to the database so that three mood i'll be explaining in detail like which mood uh, relates to what and uh, wh uh, what's the changes happen on the database in every stages so in no mount mode basically database uh, look for the um, server parameter file default location it will look uh, for initialization parameter file where p file or sp file will be deployed so uh, basically when uh, it uh, opens the parameter file it reads the uh, parameter file it is uh, it uh, it's get the value of initialization parameter like it will be already defined in the you know, p file or sp file like how much uh, every memory com component has to be uh, there for starting the database so all the uh, all the allocation for a, all the uh, my component memory component will be there so once it will get allocated your sga uh, will get allocated sg allocation will be done and then it will start the background process like all the mandatory background pro process will start uh, processing it and then finally uh, it it will open the alert log and trace file and record all the explicit parameter to the alert log in the valid parameter syntax so but uh, the most important thing is at the no mount stage oracle does not associate the database with the instance so this is very important thing that uh, in this stage database will not be associated with the instance but in the next mount stage uh, when uh, when the uh, when database uh, through that startup command when database reach to the uh, mount mode that time it reads uh, it's it access the control file over there and in control file it will have information about the uh, uh, database name and uh, other uh, uh, information like it will be able to uh, access the uh, name of a data files and online red lock files so it will access those information and according to that it will mount the database and the database is only available to the administrator like dba will only able to access this and uh, not for all the users and in this mood especially in this mood the database will be available for 
um, for DBS to perform uh, the recovery activities or any maintenance activity if they want to perform so database will be available for uh, in in this mode basically uh, DBS make the database in mount mode and perform the recovery operations and all so yeah this um, mount is important for uh, a DBA resource if you want to build your career obviously you will be you, you should be very familiar with this uh, even questions comes from this uh, topic so the next is open stage in the open stage oracle perform uh, multiple things like first open the uh, online data file in table space other than undo table uh, space and then uh, select an undo table space instance use the default undo table space if an undo table space is spies an undo table space in utilization parameter otherwise it will select the first available undo table space finally it opens the online read logs means uh, in this stage the uh, like if there, there is no uh, missing uh, missing file in uh, data file then your database will uh, get open and it will be available for uh, every uh, user to access the database but in in case if any uh, data file is missing it will uh, come to the mount mode again so that is uh, this is the uh, diagram where you can see from shutdown to open stage how your database goes like in no mount mode it parameter it reads the parameter file allocate the memory and background process it start the background process in mount mode in control file is uh, it reads the control file data file is visible and not available for users and is it is called as recovery stage and then final is open stage where the data file integrity is verified means data file will get validated you know, whether is there any missing uh, data file or not so that uh, that will happen then only the database will get open and then if the data file is missing then it will the stage will be mount to stage and database will be available for all the users so this is the thing and then the uh, by this command uh, start the database into open state like when you fire this command it will open directly the database in uh, open stage uh, let's uh, do this practicals also parallelly and you can see no mount stays uh, like we 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 do that uh, uh, by um, as per the need we do that and uh, also like mount mode also we can make that database in mount mode from no mount to mount mode uh, let's uh, do that practicals together here i'll be opening cmd command Chrome and then from here we'll try to connect the database here I have installed here I have done the installation of 19c database yes it's connected you can see currently the database is up and running hopefully Let's go move from we need dollar database yes currently the database is up and running and uh, now we'll shut down the database first of all so that we can test the startup commands shut down immediate by this command we can shut down our database so it will take some time to shut down our environment uh, till the time it will shut down we'll discuss the remaining part so this is the command we have to execute to start the database and then the, uh, we have to manually we have to make that database into mount mode and then we have to open it uh, through the command itself and after that you can see shutdown process also normal shutdown if you are performing shutdown normal this is a default uh, mode of shutdown the database during this stage the oracle server waits for all the user to disconnect like till the time uh, connections will be available it will not shut down the uh, database so generally it takes a long time uh, if any connection is there so uh, generally as a dba we don't prefer to go with that but yes these three are the recommended uh, oracle recommended uh, uh, 
commands that you can use to shut down your database shut down transactional uh, this uh, command wait till the all the transaction complete and then shut down the database during this stage no connections are permitted L like <coughs> the, uh, or whatever the transactions are happening on the database once that will get completed after after that only this command will process the uh, database shutdown otherwise it will wait till the time and in that time period there will be no new connection will get established to the database and uh, third is shutdown command that i have executed just now in the uh, uh, in my command prompt you can see i think it has stopped the database so now if the database is stopped now by using a startup command will start so i will not go directly to a startup command i'll use first to go to mount mode a startup no mount by this command you can it will just uh, read the uh, parameter file and it will allocate the memory and start the background process so that will be going to happen with this command and then we'll go manually uh, to mount mode and then we'll open the database so yes now we'll come to the shutdown uh, commands so this is the most commonly used uh, command shutdown immediate that will be used by every dba in that uh, this operation will disconnect all the session immediately and roll back all the running transaction and shutdown the database during the next startup no instance recovery is required but if you are performing shutdown abort generally we it's not re recommended by oracle but uh, generally we don't uh, use this shutdown abort but in some cases where you you are uh, executing shutdown immediate and your database is not getting shut down because of any uh, problem which is there on your database so in that case only you have to use this but generally if you do that it will be like uh, when you are switching off your television it's getting uh, stopped in the same way your database will uh, behave but in that case you, you have to perform a database uh, like uh, it required a database setup needs and instance recovery to be initialized by smon smon is a background process that is responsible for system recovery so that uh, that's happen in case of if you are running shutdown about so this is not uh, recommended by oracle as you can see it mentioned any background uh, any backup taken after shutting down the database in about uh, mode will not be consistent means the, your database will not be consistent it will become inconsistent it is recommended to use the first three method like uh, above three method is only recommended by oracle to use it in that case your database will be consistent so there is some miscellaneous uh, uh, um, misconceptions about a uh, shutdown abort like they are uh, shutdown abort and shutdown restricted and shut immediate and startup uh, mount restricted generally this is uh, preferred in some rare cases only as you, you can see it mentioned uh, it might appears that using a abort option it's not a good idea you know, but however in, in in the case of large database it might take a while and hence the option of a board can be ju judiciously utilized the below okay so these are options we generally use for a large database and uh, generally we are not preferring it actually only in case of some challenge where your uh, shutdown immediate is not working then we will go with shutdown about so that's how in that now we'll go for the practical part so now your database is you can see it takes some time so your database is now no in no mount mode so we'll just um, go to mount mode by alter statement alter database database mount by this command you can mount your database and if you run the query like select name come open disk mode you will be able to see your database stays here your database is now no mount in mount mode and before it was no mount mode and now if you 
डू अल्टर अल्टर डेटा बेस ओपन इट विल ओपन योर डेटा बेस आफ्टर दैट योर डेटा बेस विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर एवरी यूजर टू एक्सेस इट yeah now with the same command will i'll be executing it you can see now your database is up and running yes so that's how you have to uh, work whenever you need to do the database start restart you have to uh, you have to use a command like shutdown immediate and shut and restart up generally we prefer that command only so thanks for watching till here I hope this will uh, this will help you for growing your database uh, journey thanks for watching